Faux painting for this rock is simply done by sponging various shades of pond shield over the surface of the faux rock. You can also use acrylic based paint for this but you have to use pond shield clear over the top of it to seal it in. Not all paints are non-toxic and not all paints do well underwater. Using pond shield as a base and then painting that and finally coating the whole piece in pond shield clear effectively sandwiches the paint between the layers of pond shield. If you are using various shades of pond shield to faux paint, just mix the base color with any lighter or darker shades to get variants. I usually sponge darker colors into recess areas and then lighter colors on the high areas. Don't be afraid to blend colors or overlap them. Nothing in nature is perfectly painted. The small piece is faux painted the same way. I dab and wipe with the sponge to get the effect I'm happy with.
You'll notice how smooth the bottom of the piece is when removed from the wax paper. This will give a great surface for which to apply fish safe silicone to be used to glue the piece in the tank. I waited 48 hours for the silicone to fully cure before adding any water. If you add water before the silicone is cured and secure, the piece may become unattached from the tank and float. You'll also notice that while the piece looks shiny out of the water, this is not noticeable when it's submerged. Choose the correct colored background and plants for your tank and your new faux rock will blend right in.